Hey, how's it going everyone? This is a video made for Vincent at Dinosaur Adventure Land. And this is gonna be on how to make a Franken tree or graft a bunch of varieties onto an existing tree. Or some people might call it frameworking. You can see I have a bunch of varieties on this tree already. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Stay tuned. We're just gonna give a quick shout out now just to get started. A shout out to Lilia Y. Casco de Mateo right here for taking the time out of her precious day to film this video. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tree that I have like 15 varieties on. So this is kind of what you can do similar to that tree that's next to the kitchen area. Here's a bunch of grafts here. Just on outward limbs. And there's probably like 12 varieties on here. So I'm just gonna show you an example of doing one or two of these. And this, these are last year's graphs and this, this is how much they've grown. All right, Nick. There's oh. our dog. Let's go over here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, this is the piece of wood that I'm gonna graft. Okay. This one is wine crisp. Okay. Do we need to look at the stem? No, it's fine. Okay, so yeah. okay. this is what this is how it lo will look like if you match up to similar diameters. If you go in from this angle here, you can find a spot. Take a little piece off the bottom. Find a spot where the diameters match up okay, just a sec here, just fairly a sec. closely. Right. So that's similar right there. So I'll just take a snip off right there. Of the old branch. Okay, new so branch. This is the variety I want. Okay. So now, before I get started, I'll get a piece what do we got? of parafilm ready. Parafilm. Make sure you have everything ready before you make your cuts because the, the quicker you can do this, the, the less time the cut has to oxidize. Right. So the, the other thing I'm gonna have Lil do. Okay, what am I gonna do? Is um, stand over this so that the sun's not shining on it. Okay. If you have, Let's see if here. the sun's shining on your cuts. It's no bueno. It's not gonna be good. So I'm gonna have All right. Lil stand there. Looks like I'm blocking it. So. My head is blocking it. Get my knife. That's the cut. Okay. And I'm gonna make doing? one diagonal cut. Move your hand. I'll go like this, one swipe. You don't want to whittle on this wood and you want to move quick. I'm gonna move. Nick, you're not moving quick enough. Nick, we got sun on it. This piece so that the sun's not shining on it. Okay, I can't see what you're doing, Nick, because I'm busy. Uh... Oh, well, you can film here now. Okay, let me. I'm getting this diagonal cut. Okay, you're gonna have to show me how you cut it. Okay, so this is this is what the cut looks like. Okay. I don't want the sun to shine on it. Okay, I'm covering the I got other my one. piece. All right. And I just lay them over. You see, they're pretty close. Pretty close. So the the main point is, you see this area right here, the bottom edge? Right. You want to line those up the best you can. So and then if the rest of the diameters don't match, um, you want to align one side. Okay. And the reason why I, I kind of have these pieces ready on the go is because you can see with little thin twigs like this it's kind of hard to work with it if you have the entire roll in your hand so right. don't try to meet it halfway if the diameters still don't match up match up one side only okay so i use this parafilm just because um when you take off electrical tape it'll peel bark away no, we don't want to do so that. this this kind of helps me align it and it's easy to stretch now if you wanted to skip this step and not do the other film you can go straight to the electrical tape but you'll have to put it on backwards but putting it on backwards is a little difficult to get started since you're holding the piece and you're trying to tape it on at the same time right versus now i can do the sticky side down and it, it's kind of helping me because you know the as soon as i put that sticky side on it holds one a corner of it so I can continue rolling and if there's wind blowing and the wind is probably gonna make it hard to hear yeah it's probably gonna mess up the audio it's okay so so just to just to reiterate I made the I made the cut as quick as I could I'm gonna leave a tab so that I can it's easier to take it off you don't want to put more than like, you know, two layers of 
tape on here because then it can also girdle this graft. Right. I made the cut as quick as I could. Two diagonals. I put them together. Try not to keep them out for too long. You don't want to whittle on it. Try to get one swipe. Right. If, you, if you can't get one swipe, get you know two swipes or three swipes. Get but them. the last swipe has to be clean, one, clean, one cut. clean cut. Okay. I mean, you can still get it to take with two like sort of um, misaligned cuts, but it's not it's not as good. So we're at five minutes, Nick. Yeah. So then. I'll label this. This is how I label. Okay. I got these black crayons. I forget what these are called. This was wine crisp. Okay. And what are we doing now? This is wine crisp. And I'm just gonna put it on like this. The wind doesn't blow these away. This is how our, all your trees are labeled, the ones that I sent you. All right. The other thing is, you don't want uh, too many butts. So one, two, three, four. Three or three or four is okay. I'm gonna take this last one off. Okay. I'm gonna get a little piece of parafilm. Now, if you don't have parafilm, you don't want to try to do this with a different type of tape because any other tape will fall off the tip. Parafilm is the only one that'll stay stuck on here like this. If you don't have parafilm, just use um, a dab of latex paint or pruning sealer but i seal this end if the, if the piece of wood has an end on it if it's a growing tip like this right. you don't have to cut it off you just you just graft it with this tip i'll show you how i do that so if the diameters don't match up i'll get another piece ready you want to do another video? Are you going to be able to send a, a six and a half minute video? Or you want to take another one? I'll post it somewhere. Okay, okay. sounds good. Cool. Okay, so this is what you do if the diameters don't match up. Say I wanted to put a graft here. Right. I can technically put grafts here, here, and here if I wanted to fit more. But say you can't do that and your piece of wood is thin. And Nick, you have are you going to cut that hole? And you have to graft, let's say, to something thicker like this. Okay. And your piece of wood is small like this. All right. So, Nick, you just caught a huge chunk of that tree. It's off. pretty simple. Nick, I can't believe you did that. You go ahead and you you cut your diagonal on your wood. I used to not do it this way, but laying it on my knee kind of helps me get the long diagonal. I kind of lay my knife, and then I pull the piece of wood instead of pulling the knife. It's a little bit safer because you don't have you know the the danger of the knife cutting you because the knife is technically still i'm just pulling the piece of wood that's why your pants so have holes in it i got i got a diagonal and then the end of the diagonal kind of has a rounded tip that's kind of that's the ideal cut right that's the ideal cut then you go over here and all i got to do here is quickly see the length i'll turn it so the sun doesn't hit it Place a small piece of bark like that that's it boom now even though the 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 bark i sliced is has more uh is wider than the sign itself it doesn't matter so you just lay it on lay it right on there like that right and align one side whoops the mm -hmm. parafilm ripped oh, come on Nick. you can't be ripping the parafilm it's okay it happens sometimes anyway I can I can still see through the parafilm so I can align it. That's why I like the parafilm or the the other uh, clear tape. Where do you buy the parafilm? I got mine on Amazon. Nick, the baby's crying. I gotta go, Nick. Okay, hold on. So run. this is basically it. I'm just gonna wrap this with electrical tape, and this is done. All right, and now it's done. It's all wrapped, and you just want to make sure when you're done wrapping that the tape is kind of snug around. I don't like the way it's sitting up on the bud, so I can kind of push it down, make sure that it's tight around the piece of wood and air is not getting in there. And there you go. I removed some of the tape from last year's graft. And so this, if it focuses, 
this is what your graft will look like next year. Here's another one. This was one of those uh, misaligned diameters graft. And here's another one right here. Camera doesn't want to focus, but two years from now, you'll basically, you won't tell if it was a full diagonal graft or just a, a small bark slice like we did with the second one. And they both have, you know, over a foot of growth. And you can get a lot more growth in one season um, I've had, you know, up to like three feet of growth in one season from a graft. That's if you graft to a separate rootstock that's well established and it's the only one on that tree and then all the energy goes into that one graft.